In this video, we're gonna take a look at four Chrome extensions for teachers to help you boost your productivity. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, education for educators. This channel is all about helping teachers like you grow in your craft. If it's your first time watching, welcome aboard. Now some of you may have already had a chance to get a hold of my 25 Chrome extensions for teachers, the 2020 edition. If not, the link is down in the description below. However, I found four that are specific for teacher productivity that I really think you're going to get a kick out of. So let's hop right in and take a quick look at these four must-have Chrome extensions for teachers. Have you ever had to sit in on more than one Google Meet conversation at a time, or maybe even mixed in a Zoom here and there? You're balancing a whole bunch of things and you want to be able to focus on one conversation? Well, this first Chrome extension is called Mute Tab, and it's going to help you do just that. Okay, when you're in the Chrome extension store, there are several different versions, but this is the one that we want, and I'm gonna put the link in the description below, so be sure to grab it there. Once you download the extension, you'll notice that it's automatically turned on. It's got a line through the speaker, and you can toggle that on and off. But before you start using it, we wanna go ahead and go into the options. So you're gonna right click and go to options. And really quickly, this is why. You can see I've got three YouTube tabs going with some free music on there. They're all muted, and that's the default setting, is they set all the tabs to mute. And if we wanted to do that, we would just use the normal mute button at the bottom of our computer. So let's fix that really quickly. You'll notice that when you click on options, it says mute all tabs, and that's turned on. We don't want that. You're gonna turn this off, and you're gonna click on mute all tabs except the active tab. And also, when I change the tab, reinitiate it. Once you set that, you're really good to go. Now, the only time the sound will play is when I switch tabs, like this. Only the active tab will be unmuted, and that's the purpose of this one, and that's why it is such a game changer. Up next is an extension called Moat Voice Notes, and it's gonna help you with your Google Docs and providing feedback to your students and to colleagues in a very efficient manner. In the Chrome Web Store, this is what the Moat extension looks like. And once you install it, you just need to register super quickly. And in this case, you acknowledge the terms and you sign in with your teacher Google account and you're all set to go. Let's take a look at how this works. Okay, I've got a sample Google Doc and I've got my extension activated. And so I'm gonna highlight the first line and click on insert a comment like I normally would. And you just click start recording. I really like what you've done here. I think maybe we should consider adding another website to this. After a few seconds of processing, it's ready to play back. I really like what you've done here. I think maybe we should consider adding another website to this. And so to show you what happens on the other end, when either a student or a collaborator sees your note and they don't have the extension, it's gonna have a little note over here that says click here. They'll click on it. And then once the screen pops up, they can just hit play. I really like what you've done here. I think maybe we should consider adding another website to this. So even if someone doesn't have the extension or doesn't want to install it themselves, they can still listen to the notes that you've left. In the interest of fairness, one thing I do want to point out is that the free version does limit you to 20 notes per month, which for some of you, that's more than enough. But for those who would plan to use this a lot, you can go with the essential for 19 a year. So basically you're paying $1.50 a month to use it unlimited, which in my book is not a lot to ask. Before we jump into number three, I want to pose a question for everybody out there. What is your favorite go-to Chrome extension? What's one that teachers have got to have? Post that down in the comments below and let us know what you're thinking. All right, this next one is called Note Anywhere, and it does exactly that. Puts notes anywhere. Once again, in the extension store, when you look it up, here's what you will see. And once your extension is activated in the top right corner, you're gonna see a yellow sticky pad with a little zero, and the zero just tells you that currently you have no notes on the page. As always, you can right click on the extension and go to your options. From here, you can get into your settings, and you can go ahead and set up the background color, the text color, the different colors that you'd like to use, the fonts, the text sizes. So you can really customize your tab that you would like to use as your sticky, and then you would just hit save. So now as you can see here, I'm just on a basic Wikipedia page, and if I click the Note Anywhere tab, it's gonna pop up a little sticky, and I can type a note. Once I've typed what I want, I can drag it to where I wanna put it, and in this case, I'm gonna set it right here. If at any point I don't want the tab, I can just click the X, and it'll go away. Should I wanna add a second or a third tab, I can do just that. You click, bring it in, type what you want, and you'll be set. 
And so this is where the true purpose of this extension comes into play. The next time I revisit the web page, when it loads up, it puts the stickies back where they were in exactly the same place. This is why this is such an important and useful Chrome extension tab. Number four on our list has actually been around for a few years, but I've just got my hands on it for the first time. And let me tell you, it's already one of my all time favorites. I'll show you what it does right now. It's called Sir Links a lot. Once again, in the extension store, this is what you're going to see, and there are no other options like it. We're back in my Google Doc from earlier, but this time with Sir Links a lot, I'm going to show you four awesome things that it does. Instead of having to remember how to add certain extensions to your URL links, it does it for you. So if I click on force copy, changes the URL. And when I paste it in a new tab, it forces a copy. When I click on preview, it changes the URL. And when I open a new tab, it shows you as a preview version only. Notice that there's no Google Docs editing. When I click on template, it changes the link again. And when I paste it in a new tab, it brings it up as a template preview. And somebody else who uses it can click on use as a template. This comes in really handy with Google Slides instead of Google Docs. Lastly, if I click on PDF, it changes the link one more time. And now when I paste it as a new user in a different tab, it downloads the file and it's automatically converted to a PDF. Hey, there's lots more learning where that came from. Be sure to check out one of these awesome videos right here. If you haven't got your hands yet on the 25 Chrome extensions for teachers, I encourage you to download it. It's free in the description below. And until then, we'll see you next time at Mr. Cook's Corner. Bye.